hey guys welcome to another video in this video we'll be i'll be showing you guys how to record bass guitar and guitar in logic pro 10. for this video you'll need three things a guitar or a source an audio interface and a computer with logic pro installed all that being said let's get straight into the video so as you can see here i have logic pro opened up now the first thing you're gonna wanna select is the input. Well, first and foremost, you're gonna wanna have your audio interface set up. So you can go to the settings right here, have your input device as your audio interface. For me, it's the dual capture interface. And then for my output device, I have a different configuration this is only because i am screen recording at the moment but usually it would be it would be the same as the input device which is your audio interface so we're gonna come out of that ensure that the output is set to output one and two so that'll be the output on your interface stereo output and yeah we're just gonna go ahead and hit create so automatically it's gonna be panned to the left and that is because you selected input one on your audio interface so just to get it centered you can just do that and then sure it's coming to the stereo output yep so now we're gonna grab the instrument so now we have our instrument now in order to get sound coming into logic you're gonna hit record or record enable and also you can do input monitoring now because you can for me what i usually do because i can hear the bass guitar without record enable i'll just leave it off actually no I'd have it on and I would mute just so that I'm not hearing two audio sources. So one is coming from the actual interface through the computer and another one is coming from the DAW itself. So I'll just mute it. As you can see, signal is still coming through, but it doesn't matter if it's muted or not. You're still going to be able to record. So let's go ahead and record something. Also, one thing you want to do is just ensure you're not clipping. You can do that by just readjusting, readjusting the volume knob, or you can do it also by adjusting on your interface, the input volume knob, just to ensure you're not hitting red, for example. Yeah. My bad. So we're gonna leave that up here and give it a little more from the interface. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hit record. some simple now to play it back we can just hit the loop here all right and we have a recording so we can go ahead and mute this, we can create another one. All right, we're gonna create a next one so the settings are still the same. We're gonna create another track. For this one, we're gonna change the input to no input so that it would only be coming from this track. And again, we're gonna pan it to the middle, center. And this is a 
another way you can record. So I'm just going to select about eight bars. Select about eight bars. And this is when Logic automatically loops your recording. So we're going to go ahead again and hit record. And as you can see, it began recording a third take. So when you're done, you would hit this arrow and it shows your takes. And to play back, you just select and it shows take one. And you can switch to take two. And it shows us take two. And yeah, that's about it. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. If you learned something from this, give it a like. And I will be doing a mixing bass in Logic Pro 10. So stick around for that video. See you guys soon.